Yeah, good afternoon, uh, fellow Nigerians. My name is Susan Idoko Kweni Lawani, coming to you live from my forced food detention center, 43 days in forced food detention. Yes, I'm the lady that was uh, accused of uh, COVID, first COVID index case in Benue State by the Benue State government. Yeah, uh, my story is that I came from England on the 22nd of uh, March for my mom's burial, and that was it. I was jet lagged, like everybody has asked, what took you to the hospital? I was jet lagged, went to the hospital to have myself checked. The doctor said they were going to check me, which they did. He said I had a little bit of temperature. I said I had no temperature because I was only having jet lag. My body was paining me because I traveled for almost 24, 25 hours in the past two days. Well, he said, your temperature is a bit high. I'm going to keep you here and check you. I said, no problem. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Yes, keep me. He kept me in hospital overnight, gave me some anesthetic. The pain was gone, ready to go home the following day. He told me that he was going to do, uh, the standard procedure was to do um, um, a swap by the Benway State Government. By the way, the hospital is uh, Grace Cottage Hospital in Makadi. Um, I said, okay, I'm okay with that. Called some two men who did a swap on my left nose and on my throat. Asked when I was going to get the result. He said in 24 hours. 24 hours passed, I didn't get a result. The next day, which was 27th of March, the doctor came to me in the evening to tell me that I was COVID positive from the result that they did, from the swab that they took. I asked, where is the result? He said he doesn't have the result, that he was only told. And I'm asking, if I have COVID-19, why don't I get uh, a result of it? Well, he went away. He went away and my friend, who was also a doctor, came to tell me, that the Benue State Governor, or Tom, was already doing a press conference with my name. A doctor just came to tell me, and a press conference was already going on with my name as the first in this case in Benue State. Went down to ask the doctor what all this was about. All I was told was that they were helping me to fight with the state government. On what basis? What has happened? I don't know. Where's the result? I don't have. Well, that was it. I told them if this was a drama or Nigerian Nollywood movie, I wasn't going to be part of it. Went back upstairs to get my bag to leave the hospital because I was thinking this was getting out of hand now. And this time I was okay. Nothing was wrong with me. I didn't have a headache. I only had body pain. That's what took my... And I knew it was because of the journey I did, or the journey I made. Before going to upstairs and coming down, the hospital had been called off by armed men, ambulance with the deputy governor and his team to come and remove me to an isolation center because that was a community hospital. And I knew, well, whether it was staged or it wasn't staged, Nigerians would judge for themselves. I was taken to isolation center, dishumanized, traumatized, because already my name was in the press and gone all over. I have been videotaped, recorded, and sent on the internet already. Stayed at the isolation center for 10 days and then moved to Abuja. Nigerians, I am crying out because I know there are people who don't have voice to speak for themselves. I know people who, has been, who have been dishumanized, traumatized, and stigmatized like the Benue State Governor has done to me. He has stigmatized me with COVID-19 already that I do not have. I'm brought to Abuja here. What else would have been done? Inquiries would have been made. I wasn't given a result until the after 15 days in Abuja, precisely 8th of April, they gave me the report, which I can publish for Nigerians to see. 
On that report, it stated, I came into this country on the 28th of February. On the 28th of February, I was still in England. It also stated in that report that I presented myself to the hospital with fever and stooling on the 16th of March, which was not true. On the 16th of March, I was still in England. I came into Nigeria on the 22nd of March, went to hospital on the 24th of March. So in the report, there was nothing to say that that report was my report. Based on that, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, still using that report and the name on it, and before I forget to say, the birth day, the date that was put in that report said 58 and 62. And I am not 58 and I am not 62. I am 50 plus, not near that age. So I was still wondering whose report was that. But it's still that report that the National Center for Disease Control are still working on and still holding me here. Even if I have COVID-19, was it not right for the state government or, or Tom himself and his team, the commissioners and people consigned in Benue State to cancel me and speak to me instead of taking my name to the press. Is that the standard for the World Health Organization? Is that what the World Health Organization said that should be done to patients with COVID-19? Why is that of Nigerian different? Permit me to say now that even if anybody has COVID-19 in Nigeria, they will not come out because of stigmatization. They will be so afraid for their life. Like I'm afraid for my life, 43 days I'm still forcefully detained. They will be afraid for their lives because nobody will come out. And then the work of the NCDC would not have any effect because people are scared to be stigmatized like I have been done to. Fellow Nigerians, what is the rationale behind what is happening to me? NCDC had done three tests on me since I'm in this fast food detention center. They did a test on the 10th, they did one on the 15th, they did one on the 17th. As I speak to you, I do not have result of one test that has been conducted here. And I'm still being harassed to do another test. Nigerians, if you are the one in my position, will you do another test without result? If they want me to do a test and want to force medication down my throat, which I've not taken in the past 43 days, I've not taken any medication, I've not taken, I've not had any symptoms till now. And I, they want me to take medication and still continue with the test. That is what everybody is saying. This woman is stubborn. This woman is rude. This woman has said that they don't know what to do. No, Nigerians. I am crying out for the sake of my other fellow Nigerians who might find themselves in this situation. Why would I not be given the test that was done if I had to see another doctor? If I have to go back to my base, what do, what do I present to them? I don't have a result for the three tests that were done. And every day they call, they, they call me psychiatric doctors to come and talk to me and think I am insane. Nigerians, I am crying out. Please amplify my voice. The Benway State government must apologize to Benway people must apologize to me and also apologize to Nigerians for stigmatizing me and also making it impossible for NCDC to do their work properly because nobody's going to come out to say they have COVID-19 if they have it for the fear of stigmatization. Or Tom and his team, 